This is Will. Will, your butt crack's showing. This is Will hooking up the jump box. And uh, what we're about to do, we're about to do a review of this open range. And what's really fun is Kati, Will's sister, you met her at the show, and Jen's here with Tucker at the dealership. And Jen, for some reason, she wanted to see like a behind the scenes footage of a video that we recorded. So I'm like, well, Kati or Jen, one of them's gonna record us recording the unit and we're just making a video. It's like a behind the scenes. Yeah. Jen, do you have anything you wanna to say to America? I just wanted the goofy experience. I wanted to follow along and see them in action. So. Yeah. What about you, Kati? I'm excited to see what the videos are like. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, hey everyone. So I didn't think about this. Well, shoot, I'm gonna need the specs. Can you go on your phone yeah. to General RV? So uh, here's what we do. We gotta find the right video, and then Will hooks up the jump box, which it's hooked up. Are the lights on inside? Well, I can see these lights are on, so I well, know it's working. Check the inside. Hi, everyone. That's a yeah. BH. No, 376 BH. So then we pull up the specs online. It's okay. I'll make sure to say that. These are part of the problems. Andrea's at home. So we're this video isn't going to be yeah, we're back in Ocala today. This video isn't um, for this channel. It's going to be for our second channel, Matt's RV Reviews Towables. Um, but I didn't want to put the video on twice. That's why we're just kind of showing you behind the scenes for the Towable channel. But this is what it takes every video, right? We got to unlock all the storage. Hi everyone, we gotta unlock the storage, we gotta turn on all the lights and everything. And let me go back to Jen. Did you get it? Yeah. So, hi everyone. Up, oh, hang on. And then, so here's what I do everyone. So snap a picture of those specs. Okay. And then go back to the MSRP. Like nope, nope. I just needed the front specs and then scroll up and snap a photo of that. Perfect. So, yeah, you almost ready, Will? All the storage is locked. See, this is the crap that we got to go through. Well, that's just for the residential refrigerator, right? Hi, Robin. Okay, see, so open range, what's great about open range is they do use the one key alike system, which makes it a pain in the butt. Here's the most important thing. Is this open or no? Are the keys in it, you think? Yeah, this one's open. Okay. Yeah, these are all open. Okay. I so I do that front one. Fridge. Yeah, that's just to the fridge. Maybe this one's just jammed. Here. Oh, there we it go. It is open, Will. You're just weak. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Chris. All right, from South Louisiana. So, Jen, you hold the dog in the specs. Kati, are you recording? Oh, Jen's recording. Oh, gee, Matt's RV Reviews original. Yep, it is. There's a very scary bug down there. So. Where? Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. I know. God. I almost want to throw up. I've never seen I literally just told her, I was like, if that lives in Florida, oh, don't kick it, Kati. I was like, if that lives in Florida, I don't ever want to live here. It looks like a giant one of those rough things. Yeah, from, uh, like from the Lion King. King. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Behind the scenes. Always got to check the fly. Ready? Yeah. And we'll do questions probably. Yeah, if anybody asks any questions, Phil, if anybody does like Super Chat or whatever, Jen, just stop what we're doing and say something. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I love song. I love live. You ready? <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm uh, Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a very unique front living room kind of bunkhouse type of RV. This it's a 2021 Island Ridge Open Range model 376 FBH. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're going to give you three things we love about this fifth wheel 
gave three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Max. joys of working at a dealership and trying to do videos on a Saturday. Any questions so far? I don't think, let me go Where's to the chat. Where's um, Anybody say where they're watching Hold on, from? how do I get to the chat on here? Just pull down here. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um, where are you guys today? We're in Ocala, General RV of Ocala, Florida. Nice. Ocala. So, funny thing, we were actually planning, Jen and I were supposed to go home yesterday, but we had a water main break at our house. And so we have no water in our house back in Maryland. So we were like, well, like, what are we gonna do at home? We could just stay here and keep recording a couple more days while we give the, the plumber some time to fix it. So we're staying through Monday, probably, or Tuesday, something yep. like that. Oh, burr, 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 burr. Thanks, Vinny, for that super sticker. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Mark saying we're doing a marvelous job. The sunshine state, but there's no sun today. No, it's actually the like the cloudiest day since we've been in Florida since the first. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna go for a hike today. We kind of postponed if, it. Right, but if today's the worst day in Florida, that's okay. Today has been the worst day in Florida, but it's still pretty nice. Don's headed to Tampa. No, we're not in Tampa today. We're actually in Ocala. Hotty from Texas and everything. Lots of people. Which is the better show to attend, Ocala or Jacksonville? Um, I'm gonna say both shows are great. None of them compete with uh None of them compete with Tampa. Right. Do we have some alliances? Yeah, we got some alliances right there. Oh, man. Atlanta is beautiful. What's your temperature? Probably 70 degrees today. I think Monday's supposed to hit 80. Here. I'm assuming Tijuana Flats may be in our future. No, we had it last That's night for dinner. Yeah. Will, where do you live in Maryland? Oh. I moved to Florida from Calvert County. We live in Calvert County. Calvert, Tucky. Yeah. And I talked to my mom this morning. She also lives there. It was like, felt like 19 degrees there today. 19 wow. degrees? That's yeah. crazy. I'm loving it down here. Even yeah. at like in the 60s. Yep. So if you guys are just now watching, uh, we're about to do a review of this open range. But since it's a dealership and since it's Saturday, there's now somebody in there looking, which is okay. So now we just got to stand out here and, <laughs> and wait patiently. On, on live. <laughs> right. There's Tucker with Kati, Will's sister. That was a nice American Eagle that just drove by. There's a Jayco. Greyhawk. Greyhawk. Yep. We're, we're located right here, right off I-75. And what we're trying to do is, what, what we wanted to do is show you behind the scenes of uh, Matt's RV Reviews Towables, the Towable right. channel with Will. So, hi, Renee. How's it going? So... You want to drive around the lot real quick? Yeah. You do Tucker, that? miss your kisses. Hi, Izzy and MJ. Yeah, let's drive around the lot real quick. Okay. You guys coming? Yeah. Go do 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 go do 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 go do go do go do. Found Art Deco. Currently 47 degrees in Richmond, Virginia. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it'll yeah, that's going to mess the audio. Yep. Oh, you're very lucky. So now we're going to do a little tour of our lot here in Ocala, Florida. Hi from Pennsylvania. We got some nice Alliance Paradigms. It's a 370 FB for sale, a 340, and it looks like a 310 right there. What do we have for Super C's? So we carry a lot of Super C's in Ocala, but we don't have any in stock. So, Not at all? 
No, not right now. Super yep. C's are very popular right now. Yep. So here's our dealership in Ocala, Florida. Mm -mm -mm. And this is definitely one of the newest and one of the cleanest and one of the most beautiful dealerships that we have. So Will and I, earlier today, we did a primetime Avenger 22. Yep, we've done a review on the Solitude 3950. Um, it's going to come out in a few weeks after the top five awards. Also, we did this Voltage today. Yep. Which will be coming out in about a month or so. So with Will here, Will still lives in Maryland. So what we do is we batch record with Will. And we did this passport here. Yep, the Passport 2400 RB. That one had a plastic toilet though. So pretty crummy toilet. But it had an amazing bathroom. We have Wildwood Heritage Glen. So look, we have a golf cart attendant, which they didn't have in Jacksonville. Hi, Bobby. Doing good. He has all our golf carts ready for us. Thanks so much, uh, Izzy and MJ from Thanks, Atlas Arvine for the super chat. They did that just because they love Tucker. Aww. And so down here is our motor homes. Right? There's a nice palm tree. No, we can no, we can go around the back and then okay. we'll go come back down the front. You wanna show them the service base? Yep, here's your service to base. There's a nice airstream in on trade in. Oh, yeah. But uh, we have 32 bays of service or maybe 40 bays of service. Um, do you guys have a show in Fort Myers? So I believe there was a show in Fort Myers this weekend, but I think it got canceled, right? Um, now, when it comes to service, there's been a lot of people complaining about service. Uh, and I just wanted to say everything. Service in the RV industry is never perfect. In general, RV does not have a perfect service department. But here's what I do say. Um, we... The people behind it are good and we are trying our best and if anybody ever has issues with service just send me an email and i'll make sure you get to the right person right away so uh here's some units and then there's a general rv logo and then and look we just got a couple new mercedes units in a nice winnebago vita a prism another prism uh the avalanche 383 fl that's a great unit for sure Here's some of the units. We actually just got a little bit of inventory in. And believe it or not, we have some Integras. Now, two of them sold this morning um, to Odysseys. But we have an Esteem 29V with full body paint here. It's beautiful. And, uh, yeah, you know, we're doing really, really good. We have two Esteems. Uh, oh, yeah, a 29V and a 30X. So, um, Dora asked if he wants to, she wants to know if we give her brother double what he owes on his travel trailer. So whenever I tell people we'll give them double what they owe, that's always when they have a zero balance. Just so it's just a joke. So uh, hopefully you know it's just a joke. And if you don't know, <laughs> well, now you do know. <laughs> Awkward. Yep, here we go now. General RV. So that's a lot, and, and we have more on the other side. Let's awkwardly, nope, they're still in that one. Are they? <laughs> yep, so so much for behind the scenes. But this is a lot of the stuff that we got to put up with, you know what I'm saying? Right. Go over that way. Uh, Peter, yeah, we're going to get the uh, RV in spring. Uh, part of the problem is that General RV, they're, they're helping us with the RV, and so we got to make sure all the customers get their RVs first. And we sold a lot of RVs. At the uh oh. Uh oh. We sold a lot of RVs at the Tampa show, so we're going to be driving over that way. You want to drive to the Yep, we'll go to lot. the overflow lot. We appreciate everybody's patience. Man, we got 185 people. Wow. So for those of you who are wondering, we were going to shoot a behind-the-scenes footage of Matt's RV reviews, but then a customer came to look at that unit, so we had to pause. So now we're just doing a tour of the lot. Yeah, thanks, Drew, my boy. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button. We appreciate it. Do you usually need a big down payment? Not a big down payment. To get the best interest rates, banks like to see 10 to 20% down because it's a luxury loan. When are the 2022 models coming out? I'm gonna assume that they're actually gonna come out pretty soon. Uh, the reason why is because 
you got to hit that thing. The reason why is because a lot of the manufacturers are doing price increases. And so they don't want two 2021s being five or $10,000 price increase differences. So I imagine it's actually going to be pretty soon. Y'all doing top five diesel videos? Yep. Actually, we shot the top five luxury diesel videos today. So we're going to have different top five videos uh, for diesel categories. We're going to have a top five diesels, which is going to come out later in the week. Top five luxury diesels, which come out later today. And then probably towards the end of the week or next week, uh, it's going to be top five class eight diesel pushers for around $200,000. Because, you know, obviously, like, an American Eagle can't compete with a Pace Arrow. Right. So we need to, uh, like, separate them some. 218 people watching. Nice. Man. Okay, look at this. Look at this scamp. That's cool. This is a 1970 skip 76. Are you closer? Yeah. I don't want to walk. <laughs> How big's General's lot? We are 66 acres. Hi, Trampus. Good. Yeah. Is it open? It should be unlocked. Sure is. Look at this. How many of you guys think this is pretty cool? Oh, man. What? See, Izzy and MJ? We got a nice window there. Look at this, guys. All retro and redone. Little scamper. Little scamper camper. How's the prime pooping position? Uh, there's not even a toilet in here. So there is no prime pooping position. Look at this. Will, stand in here. Really? Yeah. Stand up straight. I can't. <laughs> here, stand over there. So when it comes to these little scamps, big people like Will just don't don't seem to camp well. But if you, you show me, I have no problem in a little scamp. You got a little kitchen, fridge. Surprise. That's actually kind of cute. Yeah, it definitely is. But there's no bathroom, which is kind of right. weird. But look at that door. Very interesting door. Look at that. Little scamper kitchen. And again, what's really cool is this is from 1976. These are just so they unique. Sell this to the um, RV Hall of Fame. They need, we need to give it to the RV Hall of Fame. That'd be cool. Yeah. Can you get... See if they're done. Yeah. So uh, a question was, can we get somebody approved with less than perfect credit with a big down payment? So there's a couple things. Um, so one, we never know. RV loans, they're tough loans. They're called luxury loans. So uh, the banks look at them different. It's not like a car loan. Uh, if you had a bankruptcy within the last five years, no way, Jose. You're absolutely eliminated, um, unfortunately. Um, and then big down payments definitely help. It just depends on what price range you're looking at. You know, if you're looking under 50000 that definitely helps. But really, you, you, you need to be like a six fifty or above. Um, but that's only if you're looking under 50000 If you're looking under 100000 probably not just because um the banks will just say no to be honest with you um i hate to hate to be the bearer of bad news hi tucker hi, hi matt great job shout out to andrea working on something special for you guys keep up the great work and i almost forgot will thanks so much when are the top five class c's coming out mr disney bill um in the next day or two hey michael knowles is watching that's your brother Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, I can't even read. <laughs> That's your mom. That's right. What do you want to say to your mom? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi. Thanks for watching. Right. Yeah, thanks for hitting the thumbs up button. Or was she that thumbs down button? <laughs> no. Looks like a boiler. Someone take good care of that one. Yeah, that one was 40 years old. No, 45 years old. So, yep. Hi, all. It's Will and Kati's mom. Yep. <laughs> Kevin's here. So, again, if you guys are just watching, wow, we have 250 people. Thank you, everyone. So, what we wanted to do was a behind-the-scenes look, but it's Saturday here at the dealership, and then somebody came in looking to buy the fifth wheel, so we had to stop real quick. Let's oh. see. I think they're done. Because nope. wasn't that them? Uh, nope. The yep. Here, drive over that way. Yep. No, they're still looking. Oh, they're on the outside. Okay. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. 
Don't Sorry. say nothing, Will. <laughs> Don't mess up a sale. <laughs> Will. <laughs> hey, can you guys leave? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sales always the customer, not sales. I don't want to say sales. The customer always comes first. And the sales, ha! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How's the home buying process going? Good, good. We got approved. Uh, we got the home. Uh, I just sent in all my final stipulations yesterday. And so we should be closing on February 2nd. And then we'll primarily be working out of the Tampa store. But still, I'll still have an office here in Ocala. And it will still be nice. I'll hit the fifth wheels on this way, this side. No, no, no. Don't drive up that way. Just drive down okay. to the motorhomes. Thanks for including the MSRPs. Most people don't do that. Well, you're welcome. And what I'm working on with General RV, um, General RV, if you guys watch the second channel, Towables with Will, we don't sh show the sale price for some reason. And I'm trying to get them to do that. But, you know, with everything, it takes time. Did you have the camera on the whole time? Yeah. Great. Now with the battery at? We'll have the GoPro on. Ninety-one oh, percent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess <laughs> it looks like they were almost done. Somebody wants to know Tucker is Yuna's big brother. No, Tucker is Yuna's boyfriend. But we had a little issue yesterday at the dog park. Tucker, he was actually being very rude and disrespectful to Yuna, <laughs> and he acted uninterested in her. And I'm like, no, Tucker, this isn't how it works. You are an arranged marriage with Yuna. But, um, so Tucker and Yuna's birthday, it's like February 5th and February 7th. And we're actually going to have a birthday party for them tomorrow. <laughs> He's like, sorry, Uncle Matt, for disrespecting your daughter. Yep. So we're going to have a birthday party for them tomorrow since Will and Jen are leaving on Tuesday. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're going to do that. And if you want to see their birthday party, we'll probably have it on Club Art Deco on the Facebook group, so make sure you check it out. Now we're just driving, waiting to see if we can show you a behind the scenes. Uh, great question, Cindy. Do we sell Jayco Melbournes? No, we sell the Integra Quest, which is the same thing. <clears throat> um, there we go. Oh, we're live. Sorry about that, y'all. Hey, if, if you guys are watching, don't call my cell phone <laughs> uh, because you just lagged out the I conversation well no oh yeah that might work actually. Uh, there you go now we have do not disturb on so and it looks like they're That's done but they're looking at the other one next to it oh is that what they're doing oh you're right yep so do we do it or no yeah because they were looking at the one next to it beforehand right so. right hi wells mom <laughs> don't call matt sell yeah don't stop calling me just right now All right. <clears throat> yep. Oh, they might be back. No, no, no. They're looking at the other one. Oh, okay. Just drive past it. Okay. Hmm. Awkward wave. <laughs> okay, we're about to get started. <clears throat> We've already done the intro. All right, we're back live. 250 people watching. Guys. Yeah. Give... Alright. I'll take the reins. So if you guys don't know, Jen helped me start the show. And so this is kind of like an old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh can you pull out your specs on your phone? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hold on. Ready? Ready? Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tollables. It's the world's only channel giving you the three things we love and the three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I am super excited to take a look at this very big, very unique front living bunkhouse unit. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Good. What are we doing right now? So Jen is live, so we're doing like a behind the scenes while doing this video. Yep, and if you want to see the behind the scenes video, make sure you check out our normal channel, Matt's RV Reviews. Um, but this video, if you guys want to see this video, it's on Matt's RV Reviews 12. Right. You ready to begin? Yeah. Cool, let's begin. And then we pause, and then I get the specs. There you go. 
42 feet, 5 inches. You're 25, 35. Okay. So what we do is we always say the hitch weight and the dry weight for towable videos. Now I'm going to forget this. So Model is 376 FBH. But the actual tip to tip height of this fifth wheel is 42 feet, 5 inches. And then I pause, but you won't see it on the video because we'll just edit it. You got your hitch weight? 2535? Yep. Okay, you ready? The dry weight is 12,727 pounds. And the hitch weight? 2,535 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, it's not necessarily about how much you can tow, it's about the pin weight as well. Right up here, you can see the nice horse side. This is the open range. I love this. Nice fiberglass cap right here. Right here, we do have a pin box. Very nice. And then underneath here is your storage. This is where a generator can go as well. Coming down the side, it is ready for solar if you want to have solar. Your propane is right here. And as you can see, you do have the six point electric leveling jacks. Now what's a really nice feature about this is it has the JT strong arms right there. So when you're stationary at your campsite, you lock down those strong arms and it makes it very stable. It's kind of like what you'll see under the pin of a fifth wheel when somebody's at their campground for a long time. Coming down, we do have your storage right there. Right here, you can put a pin box right there. And right there is a propane quick connect if you want to have a grill. Right out here, you do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Four seasons unit, right? Heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. And then right here, you do have these nice lipper component solid staff. Coming down the side, here's access for your residential refrigerator. And then look at these towers while they're in the Rangers. I love these. They're the ST235-85. R16, and we have those nice Dexter axles right there. And then this is what really makes this unit special. Look at that storage back there. That's crazy. Very nice. Slam latch doors. And the speakers are built into the awning. I didn't know it's oh, very cool. And then we have even more storage right here. This storage is absolutely amazing. And then coming in around the back, this thing. Look at that. Here's your second bedroom back in here. Literally, this is so cool. Hi. pounds of cargo carrying capacity back here. Very, very nice. Look, there's even a place for your fishing rods. Oh, that rods. is cool. Fishing rods. That is so cool. Right here, 3,000 pound hitch. Uh, not 3,000. 300 pounds of vertical. You cannot tow behind this fifth wheel at all. And then up there, it is equipped for a Furion backup camera. Coming around. Right over here, here's where you dump your black and gray tank. That's a place to put your stinky slinky. This might be unique. Yeah, your water hookup's back here. Very nice. I like how it's all enclosed. You have your black tank, most beautiful water pump. And your water heater's right here. 50 amp power cords right there and everything. Finishing up. We do have frameless windows throughout. Right there, that's where your black and gray tank poles are, which is unique. The other side of the storage, and then here's the other propane tank. Well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. We'll go this way. How many people we got watching, Jay? We have 269 people. Nice. Welcome to Behind the Scenes of Match RV Reviews. Tobles edition. Front bunk living area here. Kitchen and living area. Dining area here. Man, the jump box is dying. Back here is the bathroom. And the bed. How long was this RV again? 42 feet, 5 inches. So... We're, we're going to start right 
It's right up there. Okay. Okay, so this is very unique to us. Okay. So what? I guess sales people don't need to put stuff back when they found it. <laughs> okay, so this is very unique. It's kind of like a front living room setup, okay? You have two trifold cushions right here, okay? Look right over there, Will. I know, I didn't it see has, that at first. It has its own bathroom, which is very unique. Let's see if this bathroom gets the private cushion position. It is porcelain. We got a medicine cabinet right there. Little balance right here. Porcelain toilet. Will, this is a prime poop position. Ding! And then up front here, it's very unique. It's like a front living room. Look, you got storage right here, okay? But it also converts to another sleeping area, which is very unique. Look, you got a TV right here, and look, you even have a refrigerator That's right cool. there. Very nice. You got storage drawers and everything. Very unique fifth wheel design. And if you notice, Will is six foot three and yep. he still has plenty of headspace. But really what makes it unique is coming down the stairs and you have another living room area. This is awesome, especially if you guys are on different sleep schedules or whatever, or if this is for the person who their kids come with them sometimes and they have their own room, but it's still kind of like a front living room theater room. You have the J-shaped lounge, which I love that Open Range does that. You have your daytime shades and privacy shades throughout. And then we have some really nice storage all above. Okay, on this side. And what make is this again, Matt? This is the Highland Ridge Open Range 376 FBH. Right here, we do have another TV entertainment center. Oh, and these pegs right there, that's where the table goes, okay? Uh, you have a fireplace and storage all around. And, well, you want to get that storage above? Sure. I need your phone for the MSRP, Jen. All right. Up here and up here. Yep. And then right up there, you can see that it does have the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this fifth wheel here is... $83,832 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right there, we don't currently have a sale price, but it doesn't matter what the sale price is, was, or will be, we will always be able to get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. Will, tell everybody how to do it. We should make Jen do it. What, Jen? Tell everybody how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301 <laughs> or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or send me any, or go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact me tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this fifth wheel or any fifth wheel, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this fifth wheel, click tab number two, and that sends me and Will an email. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, not a problem, click tab number three. But Will, it doesn't matter if they click tab number three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? Jen? They all get you, get you in touch with Matt. We'll get you the best <laughs> price in America. Okay. <laughs> well, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys. So this is actually really cool because um, with front living, a lot of times you don't get like a good sized kitchen, but you actually still do here. So you get nice storage up top here. Here is your panel and a little bit more storage up top. I like this backsplash here they did. Of course, it's not real tile, but uh -huh. still nice. Solid surface countertops. And then you get some drawers. This makes such a nice little coffee bar. Wow, or nice drawers. Bar. Very nice. And a little more storage here. Very right nice. Panel. Okay, over here you have a nice convection microwave. Uh huh. They did continue that backsplash behind the uh, stove top. Of course, all on surface still. Nice four burner and Sigma cooktop. I love these with the residential oven. Wow, turkey tested well. Turkey approved. <laughs> And I love these little oh, spice Oh, look at that. Things. Very nice. Um, and then a nice residential fridge. Oh, right over here. On a second. Very nice. I Is love the residential you? fridges. Yeah. It might have the option for an RV fridge, too. Um, nice faucet with a spray thing and a nice big single bowl sink wow, right there. Wow, farmhouse style. Yep. 
and get some storage here. Very nice. Oh! oh! That's an 83 dollars trash can! And it does have a little insert, cutting board thing. Oh, and it's got the actual spot for it too, which is nice. Yeah. A little spot for your sponges, and we got some drawers, drawers, and a little more storage there. Oh yeah. Yeah, the jump box is definitely dying. It is, yeah. Well, well, it's now time for the tall test. Get all right. up there. Come on, America. How many people do we have watching, Jack? We have 281 people. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Again, if you want to see this actual episode, make sure you subscribe to our second channel, Matt's RV Reviews Towables, where Will and I do the video. So it is a radial shower, but it does pass the tall test. It does test. pass the tall test. <laughs> Bing! But it um, does not pass the wide test. No. It does feel like a little bit of a bigger one, and you do have the little step, but it's still tight. It's a radial shower. Yep. Right over here we have the countertop. A little bit more storage there. Oh, snap. That is prepped for a combo washer oh, dryer. Wow. If you wanted one there. Over here is your medicine cabinet. A nice little sink vanity in storage right there. It's now time for the toilet test part two. <laughs> Porcelain. I'm almost rubbing this. Uh -oh. Should have been no 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 no. Oh, I said almost would. Okay. I said almost. Fifth wheels don't fail very often. Yeah, it is a prime poop position. Okay. Bing! But it would have been better if they did move it over just a, just a little bit more. Great. Finishing up with the master bedroom. Okay. We have plenty of space back here. A nice rear slide out. Okay. Storage over here. Very nice. Raised up bed because of that storage back there. And um, we do have drawers back here. Okay. I don't very think I nice. Nope, it's just the open nope because this needs to slide in that oh. way. And then we're back live. We're back live, everybody. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We are back live. We're losing people. We're losing people, but we're back live. Let us know. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you can still see us and hear us okay. And stop calling me. <laughs> cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the 376 FBH. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you Three things we love about this fifth wheel, and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Perfect. Let's go first up here. Okay. Uh-oh. Go that this way. way. Yep. Okay. Okay. Are we, are we there? Sorry, y'all. People keep calling. Quit calling, y'all. Okay. Let me know if we're back okay. Okay, we're back. We're back. Perfect. Okay, first dislike. It's going to be a combo. This. Okay. Hang on a second. Oh, Kati. Are people trying to come in? No? Okay. Okay. You good? We're live. Yep. We're live. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, we're still live? Okay. Yep. First dislike is going to be not this U shape because I really love this. But it's going to be the TV position, both right here, looking sideways at that TV, and the positions right there as well. Both sofas do have a sideways, there's no sofas that have a direct looking angle at that television. That is one. Will, two? Mine, I can almost combo with yours, but it's going to be this lip here. Really? Yeah, I, I like the flush floor here. Uh -huh. but something They need to do something a little better to keep mm -hmm. that down. I saw you tripping on it right. like the whole time you were recording. That is part of the problem with this because a lot of time it does take a while for it to go flush. Oh, so it will work its way down? Yeah, but I, I do hear what you're saying. Yeah. It does some... You know, if the slide outs are in too long, then it takes a while for it to go flush. Or maybe if they just trimmed it up so it didn't you know, okay. something like that. So that's two. And then number three, I'm not trying to do this, but I'm going to say that bathroom back there, okay? For this being such a big fifth wheel, I feel like they could have done something to make the bathroom a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um. You know, and, and again, I'm not hating on this bathroom, but for this being 42 feet, five inches, you know, that bathroom kind of just is what it is. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things. We love about this fifth wheel. Ready for me to go first? Yeah. I love this kitchen. Yeah. This kitchen's amazing. As Will said earlier, you, you don't get really big kitchens when it comes to front living room floor plans. I like the residential fridge. I like the big oven. I like the solid surface countertop. Everything about this kitchen is amazing. 
That's one. Yep. Two. Mine is going to be this room up here. Yep. Which is kind of the obvious. Yep. But this is just such a cool, like, guest area, guest room. Yep. You know, especially if it's not just kids, you know, but if you have some adults coming. You have two very good sized beds. The trifold sofas are comfortable. They have their own half bath. They have their own mini fridge. They have their own couch during the day. They have a door. They have their own separation of their own. Room. And the storage in here is awesome for, yep. for guests. So. That's number two. And then number three, we're going outside. Okay. Thanks everyone for sticking around. So number three has to be the spare oh, storage. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Look how big it is. Look at look look at the fishing pole things. This is absolutely amazing. To find this storage in a bunk house is unheard of. So to get this and, and just this whole RV to be a bunk, I'm talking about that one. And just this whole RV to be like a bunk house front living. I love the concept behind it. Right. Well, that's it. That's a review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching twice. Thank you for watching twice. If you guys have any questions about this with wheel, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is matsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to matsrvreviews.com because sometimes we do go live on YouTube and, and we can't accept phone calls when we're live. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, uh, that's the best way to get in contact with me. And if you're in the market for a bunkhouse front living room fifth wheel, in a few seconds we're going to have videos that show up right there. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys. You know, we're really trying to bring you different floor plans and everything as well. Something a little bit different that you may not see anywhere. So I hope you guys like this. Definitely let us know down in the comments below three things you liked, three things you disliked. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Will, do you, I mean, Jen, do you have anything you want to say? Just thanks for being part of this. Yep. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Make sure you check out another video right, right there. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time. Thanks, everyone. Any questions? <laughs> Any yeah. questions? How many Not we got really. Watching? We have 246. Thank you, everyone, for watching. So that was like just a little behind the scenes of Matt's RV reviews. And it was just a little hectic and chaos because we decided to do this on a Saturday, which is the busiest day of the week. So Someone did ask, what do I need to tow this with? Um, what was the pin weight again? I mean, it's 12,727 pounds. And the pin weight was 2,500. So 2, you could bucks. do this with a dual weight. I mean, with a uh, 2,500. Yeah, three quarters but, at minimum, but probably a oh, one ton better. would be better. I think you got it. Any any other questions? Any uh, super chats? No super chats. Okay. Yeah, definitely one ton. Why don't we use microphones? Because I don't know how to operate them right. But um, Izzy and MJ was at the Tampa show, and they showed me some really nice microphones that I'm pretty sure we're going to get. You can use that thing I got you for Christmas. Yeah, I will. Great job. Thank you, everyone. So we're probably going to wrap up the video now. Wow, we've been live for 45 minutes. Wow. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Um, if anybody has any final questions, let us know. Yes, we did do a video on our top five Class B pluses and our top five Class Cs. Um, you will see them this week on Matt's RV Reviews on this channel. But tonight is going to be the top five luxury diesel pushers. Anything else you want to say, Will? Oh. Thanks, Joaquin, for the uh, super chat. RV for four. Thank no. you. Um, yeah, just thanks everybody for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got, got to see a sneak peek uh, or a uh, behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes peek at what we do daily. So What we got to deal with every day. <laughs> That's right. But normally Jen and Tucker and Kati aren't here. Yeah. Anything you guys want to say? Um, this was fun. We just stopped by to say hi, but we got to be part of this and it was fun. Thanks cool. everybody for watching. Anything you want to say, Kati? Thank you for tuning in for this and watching all this live. It was fun. Great. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. We'll see you later tonight at 7 p.m.